Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Royal Pulp playing cards from Gambler's Warehouse. Uh, these cards, they were designed by Brad Foster and Blackout Brother, and they came in two versions. There was this version, which is the version one, kind of a blue-orange, and then there was this version, which is the turquoise deck. Uh, and for the sake of this deck review, we're gonna look at version one. The Royal Pulp Tech Case uh, has a lot of deep mineral blues and vintage blood tones. It all saturates this marble cream parchment backdrop. And you can see that it says Royal Pulp there across the front, it has these beautiful uh, images there on the top and bottom. And then pretty much this entire deck is just filled with art. There's not as much uh, writing on the tuck case as you would find on a traditional deck. And then the bottom has some ad copy about Gambler's Warehouse and PlayingCards.net. The back design is of course the back design of the cards. And the tuck flap has a little symbol right there. The inside tuck lining is also done in the same coloring and tone, and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards were printed from the United States Playing Card Company, and they do come on their retail stock. They are done with a modern cut and air cushion emboss, and if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. The back design has a nice thin black border, uh, and then you can see a lot of those same uh, mineral blues, those same uh, vintage blood tones. Uh, throughout the deck and then you have this beautiful image there that's designed in the center with all those colors and that black um, Edged border it makes for a very beautiful fan with this deck You're gonna get a couple of extras the first of which is you're gonna get a double backer Which is great for magic tricks and you're also gonna get a double-ended gaff that you see in a lot of the gamblers warehouse cards um, this side has the king of hearts uh, and the other side has the queen of hearts you're also going to get two full-size jokers, uh, also done in these same uh, blue and blood red colors. You can see that one jester is done in a more of a yellowy color, and the other one's done in a more orange color. The face of the cards does not have a black border. It looks more like parchment, like worn paper. You'll also notice that the pips and indices in the corner are all completely custom, as well as the pip placement and the pip design. Your ace of spades is beautifully ornate and mirrors perfectly the back design and the theme of this deck. The court cards in this deck are both comical and beautiful. You do see again that they carry that same blue and red tones and that they are all posed pompously for portraits. Well, that is it for this deck review of the Royal Pulp playing cards from Gambler's Warehouse, Brad Foster, and Blackout Brother. As always, recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.